Hello my dear friends on YouTube. I take this opportunity to welcome you on Rugano TV, the only channel to update you with reliable news every time. Thanks for being with us at the moment. If you are used to come here or it is your first time, no matter where you are coming from, this is the channel everyone is welcomed to recent to important news that you need to know about things that are said about Rwanda. So I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our channel, like our videos and even share them to your people on different social media platforms as well as to support our channel as a means to let everyone know the truth about Rwanda, about things that are happening and as a means of destroying all the informations that are tarnishing the image of Rwanda in the whole world. So today we are saying that for cash there is very little that RNC's Robert E. Euro World and do. This is the topic we are going to talk about. As the high-ranking military official of Rwanda National Congress, Robert E. Giro has been a frequent guest or very marginable talk show to throw mad at Rwanda. So it wasn't surprising when on May 20th, 2015, he appeared alongside David Himbara, known to one and all as the chief propagandist of RNC before the U.S. Foreign Affairs Subcommittee on Africa, where testified about alleged human rights violation by the government of Rwanda. As it turned out, the whole thing was a, a concussion by RNC propaganda machine and Higiro's presence on a war shameful episode just served as testimony to human greed in general. The two H's, Himbara and Higiro, have been made who they are by the RPF struggle. The collective struggle of Rwandans enabled them to come back home to Rwanda. They enjoyed privileges they never would have without the sacrifice of so many privileges that very few other Rwandans ever realized. Nevertheless, because of the litulence at not being treated like kings, now they have devoted their lives to tearing down the achievement of the United Rwanda. The evidence is in the U.S. Senate was a result of intensive political lobbying funded by Tribe Rujiro to tarnish the image of Rwanda before the U.S. But they forgot the affairs of Rwandans are determined in Rwanda, not tens or thousands of kilometers away on the Potomac. Treason is a cardinal crime, but when a civilian commits it, worse when it is a member of the armed forces such as Higiro. Robert Higiro was placed himself at the center by handing out Dr. Audio's recordings and other so-called evidence to the Globe and Mail newspaper, a Canada-based publication whose Africa correspondents are always trying to make a name by themselves through outdoing anyone else in publishing negativist articles on Rwanda. The doctored audio was used in Globe and Mail supposed investigations into alleged Rwandan government's involvement in attacks and planned attacks on exiled Rwandan dissidents around the world. According to diaspora sources, the Kawarore born Higiro seems terror made for such backstabbing activities. What remains to be found out is how much Imbara paid him to trash the government that made him who he is, or what he earned from doctoring alleged evidence against Rwanda for the use of Globe and Mail. Those that know Higiro, born 50 years ago in Kabarore district, Uganda, are certain of one thing. For crush, there is very little that Higiro would not do. That means he's in love of money most of the times. Founded by the notorious tax evading businessman and the supporter of terrorism, Tilbert Rujiro, Hijiro was 
was hoping for media house to another, especially those with unknown Antirwanda agenda, such as VOA's Shaka Sali, and on a host of online videos patronized by known genocidals and genocide deniers. Hijiro at first seemed like any patriotic Rwandan and as a young man answered the call to join the struggle to liberate Rwanda in 1990. He then spent most of his post-struggle service working as an army instructor at different Rwandan Defense Force RDF bases in the Gabiro Gako and Nyachinama training wings. However, Major Roberto Higiro's service in RDF was characterized by an increasingly turbulent journey with crashes and quarrels seemingly unprovoked with colleagues. This resulted from him being perpetually disgruntled and from his undisciplined ways of seeking solutions of his perceived problems, that is, the reports uh, our sources were reporting. Until his retirement from the army in 2010, Robert Higiro had the rank of major, but according to those who worked with him, was the way he was always complaining and raising his grievances in an unprofessional manner that the rank of major was not commensurate with his academic and professional credentials. The colleague told his website that Higilo had a superiority complex that led him to regard even his superiors with contempt. Two years into his army retirement with General Major Higilo embarked on his treasonous journey. He first fled into Uganda, then to Senegal, and later moved to Belgium in 2014. After a couple of years, there he moved to the U.S. in 2016. It was upon commencing life in exile that he linked up with elements like David Himbara, Jean-Marie Michombero, and Emmanuel Mubana, who further initiated him to anti Rwanda enemy action. Higiru now is among the top operators of anti Rwanda agenda as an, as an important member of RNC, that draws its most important support from the regime in Kampara. And in fact, currently Robert Tijiro is in Kampara where he resides in Gaba, a suburb of Ugandan capital. The house where he lives is paid for and protected by CMI. He is also among the coordinators of democracy in Rwanda now, a subversive NGO created by Himbara, whose mission is to manipulate a global opinion against the Rwandan administration. One can only feel pity for these fellows that could have been useful members of their society, but chose to waste their lives into futile ventures instead. So guys, this is the end of our topic today. I hope you knew the truth that was behind things. And I believe that you already subscribed, or, or if you didn't, this is the right time to subscribe, to press like, and share some of our videos to your friends on different social media. Thanks for your time, and keep on coming here. We are always here for you. Bye.